What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Race. Can you imagine a world where Sex in the City and Downton Abbey unite? Well, the Gilded Age is just that. The new drama by Downton creator Julian Fellows is filled with similarities to Downton. From the same writing perspective to some of the same actors and even similar storylines, here are all the similarities we found. Maybe we need a bit of disruption. Let the tournament begin. Why don't we just go? Julian Fellows is the writer. HBO is bringing some of the best shows these last few years. And Just Like That was released in 2021, which, for those of you not familiar, is a Sex and the City reboot. And now the streaming program is about to premiere another series about a group of amazing women in New York City. What's even better is that the series comes from the praise director of Downton Abbey. If some of you need a backstory for Downton Abbey, the British period drama ran for six seasons between 2010 and 2015 and gathered several awards, including an Emmy for Outstanding Miniseries or Movie in 2011. A few of you remember, but back in 2018, there were ongoing debates about whether a Downton Abbey sequel should happen. In fact, this debate occurred way back in 2012. But it was in 2018 that NBC officially stated the show is under development and it will be a period drama set in 1880s New York City. Not long after, the show was moved to HBO. The Gilded Age description says the following, Marianne Brooke, a rural girl, moves to New York after her father's death. However, things get complicated when she must assimilate into the clan of a railroad tycoon. While the Crawleys will come back for Downton Abbey and New Era on March 18th, Fellows' is The Gilded Age will premiere on January 25th on HBO in the US and Sky Atlantic in the UK, which is, to be honest, sooner than we expected. The Gilded Age stars Cynthia Nixon, an actress mostly known thanks to her performance in Sex and the City, who is set to portray Ada Brooke along with Christine Baranski, mostly known for her performances in The Good Fight, as the widowed Agnes Van Rin, both of whom are sisters with very turbulent lives. Their niece, Marion, a character portrayed by Louisa Jacobson, who happens to be Meryl Streep's daughter, arrives in New York to stay with them, and this is practically where the drama begins. It was originally Mark Twain who called this the Gilded Age, Fellow said in an interview with EW. The important word is gilded. It's not the Golden Age. It's the Gilded Age. And that tells us it was all about the surface. It was all about the look of things, making the right appearance, creating the right image, he further explained. What we should keep in mind is that the Gilded Age is set 30 years before Downton Abbey begins, but... It isn't a prequel. Now, the following news is not confirmed, but according to many reports, the new show will feature some of the characters from Downton Abbey. In fact, Fellows said that it would be fun to see some of the characters from Downton while they were young, and this would, of course, be a fun way to explore their backstory. Here's an idea. The Gilded Age could feature a younger version of the Dowager Countess. Exploring her past would surely amaze a lot of fans, right? In the new trailer for the sequel of Downton Abbey, the Dowager reveals that back when she was young, she met a man and now she's inherited a villa in France. So it would be perfect if Fellows links the storyline with his new show. Do you know Newport well, Miss Russell? The mistress is not a player in the great game. An American Downton Abbey. The first and most notable similarity between The Gilded Age and Downton Abbey is the fact that both shows are produced, created, and written by Julian Fellows, and both shows are period dramas. Now, here's a fun fact. Do you guys know that Fellows wrote Downton Abbey alone? Every single episode is written by him, and he never let anyone else near the writing department. Luckily enough, the trailer for the new period drama by HBO is here and in it, the Crawley's beautiful British estate is traded for 1880s New York. Cynthia Nixon and Christine Baranski occupy the trailer with a constant battle about money, a lot of fashion, and romance. Is this the American Downton Abbey? Yes, it is. For those of you not familiar, the Gilded Age is seen as a period of vast economic, technological, political, and social transformation. This transformation developed a new national industrial society out of what had been small provincial communities. The Gilded Age also focuses on the New York newcomer Marion Brooke, who arrives in the city to live with her aunts after the death of her father. Exposed to a world on the brink of the modern age, the network's description says, Will Marion follow the established rules of society or forge her own path? It seems like the Gilded Age will not be as similar to Downton, with the most notable difference being New York. Been paid one day. How can anyone be so rich? You. A bigger perspective of upstairs. 
As you already know, Downton Abbey has two groups of members. One group contains the downstairs, which is where the servants stay, and the other group is the aristocratic Crawley family that lives upstairs. As it appears, the Gilded Age will focus more on the upstairs group. Set in the post-Civil War era, when plenty of changes occur, the show will explore the lives of two sisters and their independent and free-spirited niece. Another interesting similarity is the glittering chandelier, which features in the opening credits for both Downton and Gilded. While Downton focused on one family in general, the new series focuses on several families that are different when it comes to their status. One of the families we'll meet is the wealthy Brooke Van Rens and the Russells. Agnes and her sister Ada Brooke are supposed to take care of their niece Marion who is not what they expected. Also, the new show will have a love triangle as two men are after Marion, her late father's lawyer, and Russell's son. We will also meet Peggy Scott, a character portrayed by the amazingly talented Danae Benton, who will face a lot of struggles because of her race. So far, it seems like the Gilded Age will focus on everything you can imagine. Now, you probably assumed we forgot, but how could you? The Gilded Age will continue the legacy of Downton with the beautiful costumes. I may be a bastard, Mr. Thorburn, but you are a fool. And of the two, I think I know which I prefer. Throughout the years, we've seen plenty of period dramas, but none of them managed to show as beautiful costumes as Downton did. There's no doubt that the attention to detail and the authenticity made Downton so successful. One of the most praised elements of the series was, as previously mentioned, the Edwardian costumes display. Not only were they beautiful to look at, but they also defined the character that was wearing them. And thankfully, the Gilded Age will also pay a lot of attention to the costumes. With Julian Fellows producing the show, we never doubt it. Now back on the plot. According to Fellows, the new drama will have a society forming itself out of two disparate groups, the old New York families and the people with new money. He further explained that one family thinks they are much grander than the other, and the other knows they are much richer. Downton had its setting influence a lot on its plot, and now the Gilded Age will have New York do the same thing. The character is the Gilded Age, which is the balance to Highclere Castle. A kind of character in Downton will be New York itself. During this period, there was an enormous expansion of the city, Fellows explained. According to the trailer for the very anticipated show, Fellows will focus on one of the most climactic years of American history. This includes the extreme growth in class and divides in the birth of new money tycoons. New York is a collection of villages. The old have been in charge since before the revolution. On a related note, what are your hopes for the Gilded Age? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.